here we are at, with Jan Wall. I mean, one of the movie critics here in the Bay Area. That's right. There you nice go. To see you. Nice to see you. Now, for anybody out there who may not know, how long have you been uh, doing? Yeah. yeah doing well, I've been on Channel 4 21 years and on KCBS radio at least 11 or 12. And before that, other stations, you know, KGO, KNBR, all over the place. I've been on lots of TV and radio and I worked for many years at ABC in Los Angeles. Yeah. Well, that'd be, that, that must be one of the greatest gigs to, you know, to just get paid to watch movies. Yeah, if only and right, it was that easy. If only uh, it was that easy. No, I also okay. used to produce a lot of documentaries, no. and that's how I got in the Directors Guild of America. Uh, as far back as 1977, no. I was a very young girl in the Directors Guild of America. So no. I've always directed, too. And uh, we talked off camera, for, uh, um, and I told you that you did a, you did a TV show. On uh, on Bay TV, oh, yeah. um, and um, of course, what what was it like? Uh, you know, like doing a TV show like that, especially when you had call-ins. You had people calling it, and, and I and I called in a couple of times. <laughs> thank you, yes, thank yes. you. It's my favorite thing to have people call in. That's my favorite thing to do to just talk to the public, uh, see what the what how showbiz is affecting them, touching them, upsetting them, yes. you know, <laughs> disgusting them. Uh, yes. It's really fun to deal with the public. It's a blast. Yeah. Now I want to ask you a question. Um, have you ever been caught in a predicament where you've interviewed somebody who you did not necessarily like their movie, oh, yeah. and you had to confront them, and they knew about it? I mean, what what was it like all to be in the hot seat? Yeah, all the time that's happened. That's mm -hmm. happened a lot. And what I do with that star uh, whose movie I didn't like is I ask about a different movie, mm -hmm. or I ask about what made you make those actors' choices in this scene or in that scene. I take it off of the fact that overall the movie t sucks. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes they're good about it. For example, Clint Eastwood, mm -hmm. uh, when he made a movie where he played John Huston, mm -hmm. uh, White Hunter, Blackheart. Yeah, wonderful film. But I didn't particularly uh, think it captured African Queen, which mm -hmm. is what it was supposed to be about. But Eastwood heard that and wanted to talk to me about it. So sometimes they, they're very healthy about it and they want to learn from it mm -hmm. or else they want to just talk to you about it. If you could take one movie, put it in a time capsule yeah. so that a hundred years from now, the whole new generation of people can just rediscover it. Right. What movie would that be? Um, I think Some Like It Hot. Oh, I love that movie. I really love Some Like It Hot. I love that movie. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yes. And it would be fun and upbeat and smart and yeah. musical and just perfect. Beautifully directed. Yeah. And it's funny you should say that because I had the pleasure of meeting Tony Curtis, the late Tony Curtis, and I told him, you are the luckiest man in the world because you got the kiss, Marilyn Monroe. And he looked at me and he said, I sure did. <laughs> and he sure did. I, I sure did. He sure did. Well, thank you so yeah, much for talking much. to him.